Let's talk all things four points. Tap the icon in the middle, go to your gallery, and let's select this image here. This one we want to add it, import it, and now we are inside four points. Four points is like mirror, a full app inside screw it. But it works differently. Like mirror, it is a full touch interface. So let me show you. If you touch and drag the menu at the bottom, it's not like mirror where you change the icons. It is actually rotation, it's a hidden gesture. The first icon is resetting, so let me reset the setting that I've just done. Now you've got one, two, three, four points, hence the name. So you can grab each point of your image individually, and this one is resembling the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right corner. Let me show you. For example, this one here, this one is the top left corner, and I can move this one around. I reset if I select the bottom left corner, I can move this one around. Really easy. But now I can also select multiple corners. So pay attention. If I tap the bottom left one and I tap and hold the bottom right one, you can see a little indication here, I'm selecting both. So now I can, by tapping and dragging, move both um, points and both corners simultaneously. Now I can also use another gesture, which is the pinch to zoom where I can shorten the distance or elongate the distance of the corners and now edit the image just by selecting the both um, corners at the, uh, at the top. You can see we can get pretty far with this already. So this one would be already quite nice. Really simple, full reset. Now this one in the middle, this is the touch interface. This one is not relying on any corners, so you have to um, think about dividing the image into different areas. If you, if I tap now, let's start the bottom middle. I move both bottom corners at the same time. So I tap the middle and you can see I can squish and move both um, corners at the same time. Full reset. If I tap just the bottom right corner of the image, I'm just selecting the bottom right side of the image. Even if it's up here, I just select this side of the, um, the display and I just move the right corner. Let me reset again. If I tap the middle in between top and bottom, I, I select both sides and I can move them simultaneously, stretch, de-stretch, do whatever I like with it, full reset. But here also is the pinch to zoom gesture like before. So if I pinch to zoom the sides, you can see I can do a perspective correction. If I pinch to zoom the tops, I can also do the same for the top or for example for the bottom i hope you understand this whole system if i tap you can see the grid thing of the grid is aligned over the image and now you can just by tapping and dragging different areas of the image you can move it around individually or together this whole thing if i tap the middle i can move the whole canvas around and now let's con let's focus on these little red arrows because this one is indicating me like the checkered marks in the back that there's the image is outside of our cropped frame so if i re fully reset you can see there is no red mark but if i select the top left corner and start moving around the image you see the red mark is um, appearing as soon as my image is not fully fitting in, 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 inside my frame inside my original frame anymore there we go this is what it's about with the red marks now if you want to move or zoom in while editing which I do highly recommend. Nothing can be like activated here. So activated state is the red. So here, if I tap it once, you can see the red. If I tap everything off, everything is white, I can now just move and navigate through my editing states. This one is um, especially helpful if you want to go into a more precise editing mode. So I'm gonna tap the top left corner of the image and now I can just tap left, tap right, tap bottom, tap left and really do fine tune adjustments to the select corner that I just did. So let me fully reset and go back. Or if you are in the zoom state, let's do this again. So I select the top left corner and now I can tap it to the left and to the right. Just move it really slowly. I have now to deselect it by selecting the touch, selecting one more time. And now you can move the canvas all around again. Let's do it one more time because I do feel that mirror is really beefy. There is, uh, not mirror, four points is really beefy and that there is a kind of learning curve which is worth climbing. So full reset. If I want to zoom in, 
everything needs to be deselected. Now I can zoom in with the pinch to zoom gesture. Now I select the top right corner. I can edit really quick or by tapping I can do really fine tune adjustments. And if I want to zoom out again, I have to select the touch interface once and twice so it's all white and now I can zoom around and move it again. There we go. This is the image. Full reset. Now let's edit it. I'm going to grab the top right corner once and the top left corner twice. We are quite close. It's a little bit much. Let me fill around a little bit more. Really simple and I'm happy with this one here. See, just with two swipes, all the explanation I've been doing is going to be enable you to edit with two swipes really nice and really perfect symmetri symmetrical and really nice and complex um, perspective corrections. Before and after, this is what we've done with this image. I hope you could follow, rewatch it again, but I highly recommend just trying stuff out and touching. You can't do anything wrong, just play around with it. Now let's go on with the next image. Let's click here, import new image, input to four points, all images, and for this one I prepared our nice brick facade here input it into four points easy back and forth you can send images back and forth like for example if i tap now screw it or mirror i could like send this image into mirror or screw it it's really nice i'm going to show you in a second so if you now tap the top right corner because this is the one you want to select you drag it now i want to select the top left corner i just want to simply drag it and we are ready quite nicely here i'm going to tap the touch interface because i want the top of the image to be visible so I could be dragging the top down go back one step or I could just be dragging the whole image down so I can have several ways squeeze it de-squeeze it on how you want to edit it but this one is actually how I'd leave it and just by simple swipes just by talking and playing around we've corrected this image in a really nice way and it would would take much much longer with different or more conventional ways. So what I meant by if you want to send an image to for example a mirror now, you can now just tap the export icon, not import new one, not save, but just tap on mirror. It is saving and it's sending it now to mirror. And from here you can like now edit the image. Now again inside mirror, do something completely new, do something completely fancy, which is really nice, come up with new ideas and new editing workflows. And you can always go back to your image that you've um, edited with four points. The current state is going to be saved. And this is why this combo of screwed mirror four points is really nice for compositions or things straightening. Um, thanks for watching. Have fun. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing. And the most important thing is leave a review on the App Store. It's not much time for you, but it helps the project a lot. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day and have fun with Screw It 4 Points and Mirror.